Hey yo, everybody! As always, come on, say it with me. Greetings and salutations, everybody. Santa Claus came today. U bolts came to town for the Cougar. If you follow my videos about the independent suspension installation, well, long story short, the dealership won't even call me back. <laughs> Apparently, I pissed them off when I put their name out there on video. So, yeah, I uh, put two emails in, left a voicemail, and nothing. Just goes to show you, you guys, customer service. It's so hard to come by nowadays. If you got a good customer service facility for your camper, your vehicle, whatever it may be, ooh, hang on tight, man, because it's hard to come by. So, anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'll show you what we're working with today. Look at here. Oh, St. Nick brought me some U-bolts. We got longer ones now. Yeah, so we're gonna climb underneath the camper. We're gonna reinstall the correct U-bolts on my camper. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about your suspension. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about dealerships, Oak Lake RV, that don't do their job correctly. So stand by. Come on, let's go. See that bug? All right, you guys. So this past weekend, we took the camper on its longest journey yet. And I figured, you know what? We'll just keep monitoring these U-bolts and nuts that they put on here that according to a few others who install this kit for a living said are incorrect. Now look at the back left nut see the other three they're right up to the top of the nut but that back one is already starting to back out and we haven't even cruised 200 miles on this suspension so we're going to get busy we're going to swap all these bad boys out for the correct ones and let's see what happens all right guys forgive me because my light died so here you have it. You saw at the beginning of the video the gold U-bolts that were in here that were barely threaded. And here we have the correct length with at least half to three quarter inch of thread left over. So there's plenty of thread to retorque and to offset any extra movement in case these start to come loose. So, there we go. We got one side done. Going good. Okay, kitties. We have the door side, meaning where I'm pointing, that side of the camper. We have both of those U-bolts removed that the dealership installed on the independent suspension kit. Now, I want to show you, you saw earlier in the video, these gold units that were U-bolts on the camper. Now I want you to take a look here. You see how these are gold, right? Now look where this is silver. That's where the bolts were threaded with these nuts right here, okay? I want you to take a look at some of these. Look at this one. I count one, two, three, maybe three, three and a half threads of that bolt was being held on by the nut. Same thing. With this one, look at the difference. See the threading up here where it turned silver against the gold? That's how far they had the nut threaded. But here, that's how far they had the nut threaded on that one. Now, I want you to take a look inside of the nut. You see all the thread left or where the silver starts? That's how far those were threaded as you saw in the earlier video where I had the arrow pointed. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you're flying down the highway at 70 miles an hour and one or two of those U-bolt nuts come off, that is going to spell catastrophe. Because theoretically, that could put enough stress and strain on the one side of the U-bolt. There's two U-bolts, one on each side of the leaf spring assembly. If one were to come off, 
That means one side of the leaf spring assembly is holding the entire axle assembly together to the frame, the shackles. If that failed, that axle could conceivably come loose from the entire camper. That's how critical it is to make sure that this is done right the first time. So once again, you guys, it just goes to show you, you got to do stuff yourself sometimes, man, more times than not. At this point of the game, I don't know if I trust any dealership to even touch my camper. I don't think I'll ever let another dealership touch my camper ever again. I almost always work on my own stuff, but I just didn't have time to do it. And now I wish to God I would have because I'm underneath fixing all the shit that those yahoos at Oak Lake RV did to the camper. So... Do your homework, guys. Be a do-it-yourselfer. Take my advice. Do it yourself or get the help of a friend or someone that's done stuff before that can help you do it. Smash that like and subscribe button, would you guys? I appreciate you being here. Hey, I just did an interview this morning with the RV Wingman. That's going to be coming out here shortly. I'll put a link to that when it does. But that's going to be a very interesting interview that we just did this morning. Otherwise, I got another interview coming up with uh, that gentleman who's a transporter for RV dealerships or manufacturers. Excuse me. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself, Sonny Jim. Come on back to the channel. We got more stuff coming. See ya. See ya.